Here's everything you need to know about camera angles in mid-journey. Let's start with a prompt of a photo of a woman in New York. Natural lighting, 35mm. The 35mm is a standard camera film type. We'll be adding our camera angle keywords to the beginning of the prompts as we go along in this tutorial. I'll keep the C the same for this tutorial at 1, which reduces randomness in our image generations, and use aspect ratio 16 to 9. Let's start with a centered view. The woman is looking straight at us. How about a side angle view? Now we're to the side of them. We can try changing which side we're on by using right side or left side, but unfortunately Midjourney has a hard time deciphering between right and left. I tried playing around with different words and weightings, but it seems like the current mid-journey models just can't consistently generate left and right photos. But you can always use side angle and pick the image that fits. Let's move on to some more advanced angles. Low angle shots, place the camera below the woman and takes a picture looking up. Try extreme low angle to get more exaggerated results. High angle shots, angles the camera down at the subject and generates a photo looking down at the woman. Use extreme high angle to get an even sharper angle. Scared of heights? Don't look down. Using the term bird's eye view or aerial shot produces a similar effect. Wide angle shots places more emphasis on the surroundings of the woman and places her in context of the buildings around her. You can try using the phrase ultra wide angle, although in my experiments this doesn't change much. Fish eye lens are ultra wide angle lens that produce these distorted spherical results. Using extreme fisheye lens will exaggerate the spherical effect even more. What about different camera shots? We can use close-up shots to get images resembling a headshot. Extreme close-up shots zooms in on the face like you're standing right in front of them. Use medium shot or hip level shot to capture the upper body of the subject, like you're holding the camera at your hips when taking the photo. Use the phrase full body shot to generate the entire body. Okay, that didn't work. Midjourney sometimes has trouble generating the whole body. Here's the fix. Change the aspect ratio to be longer in the vertical direction. We're still missing the feet of the woman, so let's use a pan feature to render the rest of the body. That's better. We can also just use the pan feature on the wide aspect ratio images a couple of times. The last camera shot you need to know is shot from behind to generate photos taken from behind the woman. Now let's try to combine the different camera angles and shots. What happens if we use centered view, low angle, and close up shot in our prompt? That's not exactly what I expected. We need to use a phrase from below in our prompt, so Midjourney can understand the low angle better. There we go. Looks like she's running away from something. Let's combine extreme fisheye lens, high angle, and full body shot. We'll use a phrase from above to emphasize the fact that we want a high angle shot. A few look like she's flying, but the ones that generated realistic photos look pretty amazing. Let's try one more. Ultra wide angle, shot from behind, low angle shot from below. Midjourney doesn't always understand English, but when it does, it's nearly perfect. Thanks to Nick St. Pierre for providing inspiration for this video with his Twitter thread. I'll link it in the description. If you want more tips just like this video, make sure to subscribe.